Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be showing you how to install the Better F3 mod. Uh, if you don't know what this mod is and you wanted to like to know, um, well first let's look at this. The F3 screen. It's ugly, it's in your face, and it's, it, it's awful. Uh, and it's just a lot of information, you can't read anything. So we're going to take this and we're gonna change it to this beautiful screen here. Uh, I changed, I'm now currently playing on my Minecraft server. I had to change to an instance that I had the uh, the mod installed. Uh, but as you can see, all the clutter is gone. When I look at a block, it just shows like tiny little section up in the top right. And this is fully customizable to your liking. This is how I like to set it up. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna show you how to install this. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to fabricmc.net. Link will be in the description. And then we also wanna have the mod, modrith.com. Uh, search for better F3. I will link this in the description as well. And we're just gonna click download here for fabric and then download the windows. And then I already have uh, downloaded the latest version, but we'll just kind of overwrite it here. Okay, it's downloaded. We're going to run this. And then we're going to select the latest version uh, for our version 121. This will work for any future versions that you want to install this mod for. If it changes, I will not be updating my title. So if you are questioning, why do you say 121 when I'm playing on 123 or I don't, I, like that that doesn't make sense but the it should work and i will test it to make sure it works in every single version so we're going to click install here click ok and we are good to go uh we're going to go ahead and download go to versions and we're going to click the uh, make sure you don't click the neoforge one click the fabric one uh download and then uh we're going to download this. Uh, I am now realizing there are dependencies, so I will leave these in the description as well. But uh, we're going to install cloth, uh, cloth config API. So we'll go ahead and make sure we do the fabric version on that one, as well as the mod menu, which we're going to go and make sure we do the latest fabric version for that one as well. And once you have everything installed, you're going to hit Windows plus R. This will bring up the run window and you're going to put in here percent sign app data percent sign or percent app data percent is what I always say. Uh, click OK. And then right at the top here, you should see dot Minecraft. OK, and then you'll have if you don't have a mods folder you can go ahead and create a mods folder make sure it's spelled out m-o-d-s uh no caps so go ahead and open this folder and you'll navigate to wherever your mods are at and i am just going to nicely drag and drop them from my chrome window which you can do if you are also using chrome and it might also be possible with other browsers and once you have these three mods here in the mods folder, you should be good to go. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Okay, and after your launcher takes a million years to, to load, uh, you should see a fabric uh, loader 1.21, uh, fabric loader 0 0.16.0. That was the version that we selected, so you know that you have the right one. I have a few others, don't worry about that. Uh, just hit play. Okay, you should come to this main menu screen here and you'll have fabric and then it should say like 15 mods or it should say something here, but you'll see fabric down in the bottom left here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on single player. We'll go to our tutorial world here. And you should notice uh, that when you hit F3, okay, you'll see a lot of information show up here. 
but you'll see that it's all nice and colorful and that is how you know that you installed it correctly so how you get it to the way that I have it all looking I go ahead and go to mods the mods menu uh, go better f3 config and then you have your left and your right side modules so I go to the left side and basically I just delete whatever I don't want. So we're just going to delete module, delete, delete. Uh, I like to have entities, location. Uh, and then like you can even go into some of these. Like I don't care about the Minecraft version. I know what version I'm playing and everything. Graphics I don't really care about. Server I don't do that. Uh, FPS could be useful so you can edit the module here. And then you can edit some things here uh, coordinates, edit module, um, and then we can see player cores, block cores, chunk relativity. I usually turn like velocity and stuff off. And then I uh, think we do location. Uh, we do like dimension. Okay, we don't care about dimension. We know what dimension is. Rotation and uh, light levels I find are are nice to have uh, highest block I don't care about that uh, biome can be useful uh, local difficulty not all that great um, current day ticks uh, days played uh, and then you can have the slime chunk uh, sometimes that won't work if you're playing on a server um, and then if we go to the right side modules and just get rid of uh, system, uh, separator, I did maybe get rid of all of this and then we can go in and enable everything. And as you can see, everything kind of looks a bit cleaner. Like, yeah, I get a bunch of information on the side. Um, and we can clean this up even more. Say you don't really care for any of this. or so you just want like basic coordinates, then just delete all the modules that you don't care about and it really frees up like all of your space and you just have this nice little thing that tells you your FPS uh, and it tells you your coordinates and you can even add things here so if we go ahead and go to the left module say we want to add a uh, oh yeah just a separator here and then we can move that so we can kind of separate our stuff so it just has a little space between our FPS and our coordinates uh, it's very very uh, simple and really cleans it up I really love the way that uh, it looks and it makes my gameplay so much easier uh, you even this uh, cursor is customizable so you just go to the general settings and then go down to um, hide debug crosshair change that to yes and you'll have your normal crosshair here uh, not the the weird colored one um, yeah and that's how the mod works uh, that's how you install it and uh, yeah we have a good have a good uh, time when not everything, not blocking our screen and everything. Uh, so if you, this did help you and you did install this mod and you were able to get it installed, please leave a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like these. Uh, I do have other videos and other tutorials. Uh, if you want to know how to install shaders, I just recently uploaded a how-to video on how to do that. Uh, so go check that out and... Uh, yeah, just subscribe for all your Minecraft uh, tutorials and needs here. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.